Hi again, Doug here from X-Frames FPV, and today we've got another build-out video for you. And you know, it's been a little bit since we've done a build-out video, simply because we've been so busy building. So let's get to this one. This one is the Neato Talon X, and this is going to be a kind of a fun one. This is a 4-inch, and this is for my customer here in California, and he's a Neato freak, and I don't blame him. These things are absolutely gorgeous. You can kind of see here. Let's get a couple little baseline measurements on it. What are we on? We're on inches there. There we go. And yeah, right at four millimeters for the bottom plate. Hopefully you guys saw that. I wasn't even looking at the camera. Sorry, guys. And two millimeters for the top plate. And this little 3d printed thing here is really a great idea you know we can mount the fpv antenna coming straight up off the top plate but you know sometimes they can um this has got quite a bit of material around it but still they can they can damage the top plate in a crash and so they have come up with a pretty great design here where you can kind of soft mount the VTX to this and also the antenna. And so it's going to give a little bit. And if it's going to rip anything, it's going to rip this inexpensive 3D printed part here. So that's really a great design. And um, let's take a look here. Really gorgeous carbon fiber. You can mount the battery either top or bottom on this. It's kind of your choice. And let's see here. From inside it, right at 146 is a rough measurement. And then it's going to be the same, of course, there. And the reason is, is this is an X, true X configuration, meaning same front, back, side to side. And so um, this is going to be really durable. And uh, let's go through some of the components that are going on it. And we're going to start here with the 4-in-1 ESC. This is a Sunrise Cicada 20 amp. And everything is just all in one. And if you'll notice on the table here, and look around, what's missing? Well, there's no PDB, and because and the reason is we we're not going to need it um, because we're running this 4-in-1. We're going to come straight in from our XT60, go out to our ESCs, okay? And then we will provide power. Um, I'm sorry, not power. Then your signal wires would come out of here for, your, for each ESC. And then... This takes straight LiPo power. And what is this? Well, this is the new-ish Lux V2. And the V2 basically is very much the same as the first version. Um, we add an SD connector there um, for so you can put an SD card in there for black box. And this has the 6,000 gyro instead of the 6,500. And the 6,500 was very noisy. And so um, it was a problem for a lot of people. And Lumineer has addressed it with this flight controller. And I'm really excited about it. And I'll tell you why. Because I love the layout of this flight controller. You, It's just so simple. You know, you have... All your signal wires and everything is just really easy to get to on this. And it makes for a really, really clean, clean build when you're done. It takes straight LiPo power. So in this build, we're going to come in to the 4-in-1 ESC. We will tap off of here and go right into our, our board. And then we will come from there in, this will provide five volts for our receiver, which is going to be the Turnigy 
IA6C. I'm going to depin it and put it in a different um, just shrink tube it so it makes it smaller. And then we're going to go straight from that or straight from our lipo power into the tramp. Now we've talked in the past about um, VTX is having an issue with noise coming back from the ESCs and over time it will burn out a VTX and can burn out your camera. And um, Immersion have addressed that with this and um, I have run these on a couple of builds and um, have them out with some of my customers and that are running them off a of straight lipo power, which is really what you're supposed to do with these. They don't need regulated power. And so um, this is kind of addressing an issue that we've had for a while, and it makes it great on a build like this because we don't have to have a PDB. So that reduces weight. We're going to go straight off of this. Got five volts out, and that's going to go into our camera. Well, this is the Foxier arrow which has osd and so we'll tap the five volts from the vtx into the camera and then tap we are we're going to need to get line voltage so that it can read what's coming from the from the straight from the lipo and so we're going to get that off of here so it's going to make for a really nice and light build uh, as far as motors we're running i Guys, I love these motors. I know they're a little, I guess as they would say, long in the tooth um, because, you know, we're at 2206 now and these are 2205s, but they're still just a really smooth, great, well-built motor. Cogging is nice and smooth. They are not noisy. They balance, they're really well-balanced. Sorry about that. So these are the Hyperlite V2s. I think they also, Brother Hobby calls them, are they the Returner, I believe? I'm not sure. But anyways, um, great motor and nice and light. Going to really go well on this 4-inch build. And, you know, that's really about it. Um, I really like, we're going to do a little uh, separate uh, review or just kind of an overview of this. Lux V2 and um, just just kind of hit on all the kind of th reasons I like the Lux. But on this, it makes it great because it does take straight LiPo power and we can just power this thing and not have um, any PDBs, which is going to save us weight. So that's it. That's a Talon X from Neato. And this, this is the 4-inch version, and so we're going to get it built up, tuned, and hopefully have some time to do some flight videos for you and get them up. So, again, guys, appreciate you so much. Thanks for checking out my channel and like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Um, also, if you subscribe, there's a little bell next to the subscribe button. If you want to know when I post a video, click on that bell and that will um, give you notifications of when I post videos because I'm not as um, consistent with my videos because I'm building and doing so many things as other people. So that's about it. Check out my website again, xframesfpv.com. And I hope you get some time to fly.